Big up your head, big up your body Get on the bus, it's time to party It's Gregory, it is a Saturday night Gregory Take your socks off and take your pants on Get in the car and I got I got a couple of questions here that we'll never get to because I've I've prepared for every podcast I've never never asked get a there. single yeah, yeah, yeah. question <laughs> on here. Of course, Mike, how are we sounding? We good to go? Good to go. Welcome to Friday Night Greg, Friday Night Energy <laughs> on a Wednesday morning. You <laughs> cocksuckers! I'm here with two boys. You may have heard them from their podcast. Are you are you are you gay? <laughs> I'm sorry. What is this? I've already started this. I already ruined this. Are you garbage? Greg H Foley and Kip Kipperson, hey. the king. Of media. Oh, is that <laughs> <laughs> yes. The king of some media. The yeah. king of media. The king of my own Instagram page, ladies and gentlemen. That's the media I control. I have an idea for a, a, a satellite show. See if you'll appreciate it. Okay. These guys didn't, instead of Are You Garbage, it's Are You Gary. I like it. Are Listen, You Gary? It's yeah. a game show. It's, I lo- first of all, I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's a game show where you have three guys. Mm-hmm. One of them's actually named Gary. The two other aren't. And you have to figure it out. And the contestant has to figure out which guy's name is Gary. And we could get like uh, Matt Richards or somebody like that to be the host, and it'd be like you, the the catchphrase is, "Contestant number two, are you Gary?" <laughs> I I'm right? on. I want to say I hate it. That's but, copyrighted, motherfuckers. I'll tell you I that. Can't say it because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> every day, it should be every day. It should be. It's like LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and Gary Veter. It should always be Gary Veter. Everyone, it's, it's always. Are you? No, that's Michael Jordan. No, no it's, it's, it's Gary. Emmett Smith. Uh, it's got to be you, Gary Veter. <laughs> Again, Gary Shandling's bones. We do an episode called "Are You Gary Shandling's Bones?" Are we, you a dead Gary? <laughs> you have to pick the different bones and guess which one's Gary Shandling. I haven't approved any of these alterations. <laughs> I just want to say, I appreciate both of. Of your ideas, sure. but I think I'm going to go in a different direction. I think we got to run up the flagpole. A little bit. Who's the flagpole? I thought you were. I'm not. Until you started throwing out a bunch of bonehead ideas. <laughs> Gary What's Bones. up with this dresser? What is that? West Elm? Where'd you get that? Buddy, <laughs> what you're looking at here. What, fi- what fire did that you That was from that Elm from? Street, I think. <laughs> you're asking a great question. This dresser had is the dresser. Had to be your childhood dresser. I've had it. My brother had it as a child. Then I got it. And it's all the stickers that I've we've just. It's from like my, like just shit has just come up. Bands that suck throughout my that's life. That's the first Airwalk sticker ever made. Yeah, Like dude. that's the first one off the off the press was oh, that exact sweet. one. That's yeah. the Airwalk. Those are my first pair of Airwalk sneakers I got. I got them at Journeys or some shit like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I started skateboarding for a week. Uh, Kitty. Do you remember the band Kitty? It was like the first the girl, girl. All the girl, girl. Hardcore yeah. band. That sticker. That's for my brother. This is eight. I don't know. It's a bunch of shit. I did put this gay pride sticker on here probably 2021 because nice. just trying to feel, you know, yeah, 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 just I trying like to get it. better about inclusive, it. Inclusive. Yeah, of course. Just trying to be inclusive in my dress. That's a microphone thing. Sure. What microphone? thing sure what are you talking oh sure sure yeah i thought you meant sure sure not sure yeah he's a guy you got that sure of course you're such do. a poser you don't even know <laughs> yeah. hot Tire topic sticker too no it's not yep. right here my brother worked at hot topic <laughs> he got paid in stickers apparently <laughs> yeah i don't even know what some of those stickers and fake weed um this is great tell me what you see talk I, I I see your eyes. Is that what this is? Tell me what I see. Cobra Commander. Tell me what you see. But I'm not a. I'm not a. I, I'm. I love the. I love the Zartan. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. it's the second gift you've given me. But I'm a. I'm a little guy guy. You're, okay, if you I can trade him in, you if want I trade him in for a little guy. Tra- so, <laughs> if I, I feel like we're on the boardwalk. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. two little guys equals one big guy. <laughs> nah, I want the goldfish. Don't give me that <laughs> I mean, bullshit. You want to trade him in for a big? I want to get you into the big guys. No, the big guys are so much nicer. I I have to imagine. I like him be able to imagine them in vehicles and stuff like that. Right. Well, if I had the, the first vehicles, thing that I right? would go for in here mm-hmm. would be the Rattler and the and the helicopter. Check this, right? Which I don't know why they don't make them anymore. What they do? They just sell out. They're like this this Rattler I bought, which if this get people at home to GI Joe uh, airplane. I got a flying above our head. You can't see. I got that in like 2018 or something. That was a redo. They keep redoing really? them. They'll keep remaking this shit, man. Everyone wants it, so they just keep remaking it. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, but are those Hank Pym playing cards. Those are check this Hank. Oh my God, I love that we're never going to get any of this because I'm just going to show you every toy in my room. Welcome to Are You Are You a Child with Greg Stone. Well, what's funny is it has a very childlike feel. Like right now, I feel like we're in your room after school on a Friday. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're probably going to get some pizza. Yeah, going to put Mario Kart on. Put Mario Don't Kart hate it. on. This is my Hank Pym. Call up some chicks. Match sticks. Yeah, they're going to come over. It comes with a little tiny Ooh. Ant-Man in there. Yeah, this is all my little garbage. I love little garbage. See, if that guy moved around, if his everything was positionable, yeah. that's the kind of guy that I would prefer with the vehicle. Oh, let me grab this. Let me grab a guy from him. I like to just get, touch my guests. 
I know I got some little guys in here for you to see. No, you don't have to pull it out. Ah, uh, pull it out. You, oh, I live for this. God. Just Friday night, Greg, baby. Yeah, come on. <laughs> We're doing Friday it. night sexual assault with Greg. <laughs> yeah. These are the t- these are the little storm shadow for you to touch. I get it. We'll we'll get into the real heat of the podcast. This was my main man. This yeah. was uh, oh, why am I blanking on his name? He had a, he was a Steve. sniper. It might have been Steve. Steve uh, the sniper. It's Gary. It's Gary. <laughs> low light. Low light. Oh. Low light. You just put them wherever. I you, love it. Don't you put those in your pocket? I swear to God, I'll chase you down the goddamn stairs. <laughs> Did you ever steal any action figures? Because I'm guilty of that once or twice. Do from you? friends or stores? From d- different. From from friends. Do like, you know the magic question you just asked? What? We could do four hours on the f- stealing I was doing. Put oh really? Through. Yeah. So tell me about how you stole from friends. I stole. Uh, a couple dudes from a kid in class. They were in his. Uh, I was in like third or fourth grade. They were in his thing, and and I ganked them. I what, couldn't. What resist. did you steal? And what I can't remember exactly what they were. They were some G. Joe? some GI Joes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I stole from my buddy this uh, Star Wars ship. It looked like you know the uh, shuttle Tiderian. Yeah. You know the shuttle that comes down like that. Yeah. It looked like a little mini one of those. One guy fit in. Whoa, the I'd, Korean I'd, Corvette. I'd, I'd never seen it before. No, no, no. It was small. Right. You said it was a little guy. Yes. Like one guy. Well, one dude fitting it. Huh. I, don't... I, I took that from his house. And I also took, uh, not Rakondo, the reconnaissance guy from G.I. Joe, the guy that has the Australian hat on. I think that's Rakondo. Yeah, I stole him from somebody. Nice. I'm it was Kevin. So much about you right now. I didn't well, know you had sticky fingers. You were smoking cigarettes and eating meatloaf. By <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike, I know you're in there. Just keep toys. your eye on Foley this whole time. If yeah. that guy's hands get Zoom a little in. loose, I have you, a fake stomach. You hit on. the bell. <laughs> this whole Foley's thing's been a ruse to knock over Friday Night Greg Studios. <laughs> I can put I can put all these toys in my fake belly. <laughs> He's 115 pounds. Under he got Doctor Fate. That thing, Foley pulled it up. Holy Whoa! shit! Wow! Yeah. The, oh, tell me, yes, the I know exactly. I was mixing up my, yes, the yeah. shuttle they used to get onto to Endor. sneak in there, yeah. That's one of my favorites. That was dope. I've never even seen that. Yeah, it's pretty It sweet. was one of the mini rigs that came out later towards the end. Oh, did you hear him? Yeah, I heard him. Nice. Hey, nerd know. alert, zip it, will you? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if Suarez was just in another room in the same <laughs> He's in the bed. I just saw him. He's in the shower. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you this. I had a... Uh, these kids, I didn't like them. They were kind of like dicks. They let me in their house. He had all the Secret Wars figures, which were uh, comic book stuff. It was like uh, Captain America, Spider-Man, all that. Mm-hmm. I started playing in the basement. They're all being dicks. I just put them all in my pocket, went home. Go home, leave them on the front lawn. Totally forgot. They see them. Kid goes, hey, you stole from me. Punches me in the stomach. I have an asthma attack. <laughs> um, Real tough gang. Yeah, right. Yeah, and the streets of Newark, huh? Forgot to take the figures back. So I was like, Wee! with smiling, yeah, like, yeah, I still yeah. got him, you fuck. It was worth a beating. Right. <laughs> Dude, when they redid Star Wars, I was going to Woolworths. I don't know if you guys remember Woolworths. What a like, fucking asshole. You I, get, like, yeah. gerbils and T-shirts at Woolworths. <laughs> yeah, I, had they bar. had everything. Yeah, I've a eaten bar. Yeah. yeah. What? I've, I've eaten at a Woolworths. Oh, yeah. Got to. And they did have a pet department. Remember when department? They had a pet department. Remember when the pet st- uh, department stores had pets? Dep- How awesome is that? I don't remember that. Well, yeah. You what happened walk, was back in the... a couple fish tanks. Yeah. What happened was no, back like, in the day, like retail, anything. it was like Woolworths. They had everything. Yeah. And then people were like, then like the 90s hit or like 2000s, it was like, I don't want to be able to get a hamster the same place I get my underwear. <laughs> I yeah. do. So yeah, they I broke do. it up. And now that's what's coming back. Like you're now food shopping at Target and Walmart and stuff. It's now all back into one fucking yeah. place. Yeah. Target is a Woolworths. Yeah. 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 100%. Dude, Sears was the best. I mean, uh, Sears didn't have any toys. Sears had an amazing toy department. They did the Sears toy catalog when we were young was the shit. Was that the Christmas catalog? It was with the Sears. Chris- oh, yes. Yeah. And oh, had dude. These, that's why I have all this shit because they used to do these amazing dioramas of like GI Joe in like the dirt, and you'd like they made it look so it, cool it look in so the books. Cool. And then I was I remember being like playing on like my mom's like pink rug. I'm like, well, this doesn't. This we isn't did. as cool as the desert. You know what I used to do? My aunt had a, in her living room, she had a new chair, and the chair had like a little flap that came down, uh-huh. but you could raise it up and it would stay up, so that was the base in the mountain. Fun. Right? And yeah. also, too, for you kids out there listening, you should be in school, but you're not. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's Friday night. Uh, that's right. It's Friday, Wednesday night. Friday night, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should rename it Friday Night <laughs> Gary. That's just my... Yeah. <laughs> I'd also argue, no, podcasts are not live. They can listen to this anytime they want <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah. For, you, for those of you just tuning in right now, <laughs> tell me. The, the, the snow guy comes through and makes big mountains. Yeah. You go out there and you dig dig oh, tunnels. Oh yeah! That was I. I remember like laying in the middle of the street, 
during snowstorms and playing in fucking my snow mountains. Yeah. That was the best. Dude, those giant oh, fucking... You could build little so, caves and crevices yeah. and they'd fall down. They'd get frozen. Yeah. Choppers trying to land on. They're fucking strafing. They got insurgents coming up the mountain. They're outnumbered, running out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> They're at the lower ground. <laughs> His girl's back home fucking some bartender. <laughs> fucking whore. Yeah. yeah, that was the fucking best. You didn't best. have any action figures? No, I up? did, for sure. For sure. I for sure did... The coolest thing I had, I got it from my cousin. I got, I got a lot of hand-me-down stuff from like the eighty, like because I was I was one of those artist dolls, <laughs> you know, like the wooden ones. <laughs> the position. No, I for the if, on GI Joe. I had a big. I don't even know what it was. Looking back, it was a big tan thing. Like yes, it was a the, travel pack. It was like a it was like a tackle box. Yes, and it the opened mobile up. command center. It mobile command center. I had three of them. Yeah, it was probably like the, it was. It, as a kid, it seemed like it was the size of the top of that dresser. It was Mobile yeah. command center. You it was like remember. this big, and it leveled up, and there was, there was like stay, you could go down. Yeah, I got one of those for my cousins, and they were because like they were older than me. Yeah, and they were like, hey, we're gonna throw this out, Kevin. You can, add. and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it had a little jail in it. Yes, uh, yeah, and it was, it was a little fucking driving. Well, tank the there. main headquarters had a little jail too. Which one? Which the good guys? No, yeah, the the main GI Joe headquarters with the yeah. huge gun in the front. I got that one year for Christmas. You needed a gym. Oh, Your man. parents were good parents. Fucking, they're getting back, get to go overrun. I need some fucking <laughs> artillery. <laughs> get some ammo, dude. The uh, comic book shop. There's a comic book shop right down the block. Four years ago, we're selling a terror drone. There's a giant. Circular... Well, you're not talking about the one at the subway. Right in the subway, right here. The one inside the subway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, bought yeah. a couple of uh, Hot Wheels from there. You bought Hot Wheels still? The the I know what a Hot Wheel is. <laughs> <laughs> said you bought a Hot Wheels? No, the Hot Wheels uh, Star Wars things. Oh, little, right, okay. Little uh, fighters. Yeah. Uh, they were selling a terror drone. I bought a U-Wing. Which or is Y-Wing. A Y-Wing? A Y-Wing? A Y-Wing from there. I want to hear all of the things you bought and never get to the story I'm trying okay, to tell. Right. That's <laughs> Come on, just kidding. I apologize. No, no, no. Come on. Let's start back. You know what a Hot Wheel is? Let's start there. We'll go. <laughs> it's got four wheels. I didn't mean to deflate you know the car, energy. Right? You know, know what a car, right? You know what a car Let's start there. Automobiles. Mm, and we'll, work, we'll work our way back. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy a Terror Drone. It was 250 bucks. I had no money. I had 253 bucks. I bought the goddamn thing. I bring it home. I'm like, Tita, this is from a podcast station. And she goes, no, it's not. It's for the return. She made me fucking return it like a child. Oh, she was right. This is the Terror Drone. They had it. It was barely. Holy yeah. shit. Dude, it was this big. It was four years ago. I Ooh, bought it. I put it right in the middle awesome. of the office. And she was like, you can't. We don't have space for that. You got to bring it back. I told her I want it. It was a lie. I had to bring it I back. I want it where? I owe it. <laughs> hey, I was, a th- I was the one billionth customer at the subway today. I they... saved the lady from getting raped. And this is what she gave me. What do you mean to do? I can't take it back and be disrespectful. My go-to when I'm buying shit I don't need is. Ah, a fan gave it to me, or I won nice. it on a radio good. contest. Nice. On yeah. a radio contest. I was, contest. Like, I was a 130 yeah. caller, so they sent me this giant vibrator. What? It's crazy. I do that when I get caught cheating. I'm like, what? It's my cousin. What are you talking about? <laughs> you in a relationship? I'm in I a relationship. I never knew the situation there. Yeah. Long term? Long term. How yeah. long? Six years. Nice. Living together for probably five, five and a half, maybe. You guys have sex? Moved in quick. I've... I've touched it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. It was icky. I didn't like it. Nice. Have I met her? Uh, I don't think so. Like you don't keep her. You don't bring her around. I mean, I. I mean, she's not to bring her around where? Now, should people Friday bring, Night Greg's? Yeah, no, you didn't bring her here, <laughs> dude. I saw. Go get this, bro. When you came in, there was a, you guys. There was a stroller behind you, which I thought was yours. I yeah. had the kid. Yet. I thought you were that like ready to go just in case. <laughs> oh, no, we are not. This is supposed to be the kids' room. And then you thought it was. <laughs> I felt bad because you thought it was us bringing us bringing you a nice present. No, no, I thought and we brought nothing. One of you brought a kid with you, <laughs> oh. and I went. All right, let's do it with a kid. Yeah, All right. <laughs> let's practice. I didn't get it. I was like, "What is happening here?" And then I, because I was like, "Did they bring a kid?" And I went, "Is that mine?" And then went, "I don't have a kid yet. He's not here yet." I was like, completely confused. You didn't buy a stroller yet. We got the Duna, which is you don't want to hear about this. It's a car seat that like you pull it and the fucking wheels go down. Sure, sure, it's sure. Kind of dope. It's in the car right now. Yeah, All right. yeah, very exciting. And what about the crib? Is the crib set up? No, we're gonna do this other thing where like the, it's gonna be in the room. A bassinet? Yeah, and then it's going to sleep on these wires here. I'm gonna <laughs> Put wires. it in the snake pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I want right, this... time to go night-night. <laughs> I want people to be like, I was born in podcasting. <laughs> we, got the do- we got the dog's cage. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. This thing is going to turn into some kind of room. We're going to like put some shit over there. All that's going to like my sister's brother's house. Uh, we're going to... like. Uh, Let me ask you this. Yeah. In a perfect world for your wife, all this stuff's gone, and this is just the nursery and the kids' room. Perfect room. In a perfect... 
situation for my wife. I am dead. <laughs> yeah. And she finds a nice I get hit by a bus. six three bald black man <laughs> who's very sweet and fucks her real good. <laughs> And loves kids. And loves kids. Yeah, and, and has action, no toys. And, and, and yeah, and figure. will never touch a toy ever. Yeah, who oh. is an action figure? <laughs> like he's a he's a man of action. But this would all be figure. gone, right? Yeah, she. The rule was always I can keep whatever I want, but it has to stay in this room. So nothing was allowed to leave. I was allowed two figures in the main space. That's it. But now that this is going into the thing, I'm like, I gotta have more space. I gotta have be allowed my figs outside. I gotta have some figs in the living room. And she's kind of pushing back. But we're going to divide this room. We have like a year before. And I'm hoping that the podcast does well enough that I can move, move, to, out, of here. move out of here, get another room or get a studio and sure. then just fill the fucking studio with ah. fucking figs and cameras and, uh, you know, if you, if, you fill, if you get the studio and you fill it with all the toys, get insurance, you rob the joint, mm-hmm. nobody say nothing, mm-hmm. and then you get... That you make back you all the, the money back. that you spent on all the toys, plus you get to get that money and then buy more toys. You get to double, double your toys for all the effort that you made. Mm-hmm. All the persecution and the returns and walking back to the comic book store. <laughs> I'm surprised they let you return that. Uh, the guy was cool. I was like, hey, he man, knew this. He was like, oh, you're room. married? He all went, right, here, yeah, f- we'll take it. He was like, you're the fourth <laughs> guy this week. <laughs> to return this item. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Five other people came here to bring this thing back already. I can't get I this can't. thing loose. Yeah. Dude, I had a TIE fighter that was the size of that. It, used to, it was this, this big. It was like literally this big. Uh, and I was like, I got to get it. I was going to sell it. Oh, what happened to the one thing that you recently bought? You bought a, sh- a huge ship recently. It wasn't the TIE fighter. That? Was- oh, I had the, um, the snow speeder. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I I'm go back to? No, no, that's in a bin. That's in a bin. In Most a bin? That's in just bins. in a bin? It's just in a bin. It's in a bin with the Star Wars figures. I got to take all that down. Uh, anyway, I got this fucking... Uh, I got rid of the tie fighter. gave it to my brother. My brother, he's drunk. And I'm like, Joe, you want this fucking thing? And he was like, yes. <laughs> he grabs it. His girlfriend who lives with him goes, what, are you fucking serious? Where are we going to put this? And I was like, nah, man, you take... Because like, I, I didn't want to... The guy who sold it to me... It's eighty. It was eighty five bucks. It probably sells for more in anywhere else in the country. He sells it to me for about twenty five dollars, and I go, "Are you crazy? This is at least eighty five. And he goes, "You're not gonna have anywhere to put it, and you're gonna be in the same position I'm in." How big are we talking months. here, dude? A floor up here, and that, uh, how big is the guy inside? Six inch. He's one of these guys. He's like Boba Fett here. What? And it's so that, it's, so it's like life size. It's like it's actual actual size. To like scale. What it would be? One twelfth scale. Fuck. One twelfth. What does scale. that mean? One twelfth. It's one t- one, times, one. yeah. Yeah. You do it. You tell me. <laughs> you lost confidence. I don't know. We're one, you're one. That's yeah, one I know one. one twelfth. I don't know how that how the breakdown goes. So for every, say, inch equals one foot. So if it's six inches, so if the guy's six inches, yeah. he's six feet. If that thing is two feet, say it's 24, it's 24 times, it would be 24 feet. So it's in real life, they've scaled it down so it's the same dimensions. Wow. Minus 12. What? Yeah, minus or 12. T- divided by 12. Divided by 12. Yeah. <laughs> two idiots. Jesus <laughs> Two <laughs> fucking idiots. You Friday night SAT it. tutors. <laughs> Either way, I yeah. like that. Huge. Yeah. Dude, and the guy was like, it's like a boat. How people are like, the best day of a boat owner's life is when he buys Buy the boat. Buy it Anyway, he sells it. That's the same thing with a 112th scale tie fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta fucking... Re- I gave it to my brother. Did like, it light up? No lights. No lights. No light. This lights up. Everything was on it? That thing's bonkers. I tell you, I bought this Sentinel. Now, is that is, parrot aftermarket or that came with real it? real parrot. He's very good. Okay. Yeah. He won't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. He just keeps his eye. He won't even blink, that motherfucker. Uh, there's a parrot. That's uh, Mike's nanny Sentinel's cam arm. watching us right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Sentinel's 112th scale to the 6th, whatever. I bought this fucking thing before a year and a half ago. But I, I remember when I bought it, I was like, well, it's not like I have a kid or anything. And I was like, but by the time it comes, I knew it was going to come in like a year. I was like, I could technically have a kid. And it literally was supposed to come on the day my kid was born. Really? Crazy. A little you bought early. that a year ago. I would have been freaking out. Yeah. Well, that's so that's like, the size. So a, a real live X-Men would be that size. A real that's s- how big that they were? About. Damn. Yeah, about. They're huge. You know what I mean? Uh, but that, that, yeah. So that's what it... And also, like, you're going to kill mutants. You just make a giant man. Like, this seems a little overkill. You know what I mean? Just get a gun, a good gun. 
No, I couldn't do it. You get twelve. You got a thirty-six foot fucking. <laughs> yeah, robot. it's a little overkill. Right, hey, man. You signed a defense contract. What are you going to do? You got to fucking go you spend it. those dollars. You yeah, know? Congress Purple already man. approved them. I was. I, well, I have some kids' clothes. I was going to get some kids' clothes and put them on. <laughs> That's <laughs> the creepiest thing I've ever heard. For some reason, I don't know why, but that bothered me in my core. I'm going to put them in my kids' seat in the dune. I won't touch the baby, but he keeps holding that X Men thing. <laughs> yeah, man. Very cool, buddy. I'm sorry to. No, I you love wa- it. Man. You walked me in here and hit record. I, I couldn't not. No, I love it. I even set up some stuff special. I put the GI Joes up front for you because I wanted you to see Snake Eyes and Timber. I love him. Look, he's a little wolf. I thought that was uh, the guy who's the MP. I thought he has a dog. He does. Yeah. Uh, mutt. It was a. Uh, I think it was Mutt. <laughs> Sprinkles. Gar- <laughs> junkyard and Mutt. But junkyard then there was the mutt. MP, though, was someone else. Law and Order. Ah, yes. Law and Order. Ah, I yeah. thought that's who it was. Dude, I love I love the GI Joe polls. Uh but you didn't, you had some GI Joes growing up. Yeah, I I I backed out early. Look at his face. He yeah, wasn't a toy I guy. I yeah, it's like he what did accounting you? for fun. I know this. Kid <laughs> did, he knew one twelve how to do that immediately. He was running a book puzzles and shit. No, I mean. Lincoln Logs. What were your toys? Well, I had a mean set of Lincoln Logs. That's I mean, I played kid. with to- I played with toys as a kid. Hang on, for aren't sure. you two bozos on about the same age? What year were you born? Eighty six. Eighty one. Yeah. Oh, you're like really? Seventy nine, right? Like Seventy nine years old. Yeah. What? Yeah. 45. God bless. I still like my G.I. Joe. I, I understand it as a kid. The thing that I struggle with, no. like even here now watching yeah. you, and I'm not, this is not shitting on it. I'm going, I, I don't understand. You guys are geeking out yeah. in like a good way. Like the yeah. emotion that's pouring out from both of you. I'm like, I don't think I care about that much well, of anything in my life. Or drugs or something like that, but it's not. It's toys. Sure. Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't. I guess I'm more confused as to, or I'm, <laughs> if what tickles my brain is, sure. how has it lasted? 30 years because they, they were pretty cool longer than that i have spent the last 20 years trying to recreate the first 15 of the guy life. that owns jurassic park Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, it's dino like, dna I've technically, <laughs> had, I've technically had toys longer than i did when i was a kid i've yes. had no for no, yes you, you know for what sure. i mean for sure so they're not for kids anymore they're for me but, but, I, I i i guess i can wrap my head around what like, was let me ask you this why why i asked how old you guys were what was big when you were a kid um what, what was big when you were a kid? 87. Well, so I was G. just saying 90, right? right? Like 90. I was four. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. G.I. Joe was big. Barney. Sigma 6. No, that was, was, that was, you love that was older. I was older when Barney hit. Did what you say you're a the, Barney guy? I said you love Barney. What about, what about <laughs> I the, show up dressed as Barney. <laughs> what about the squiggles or whatever those weirdos were? Those yeah, you Australian like the motherfucking dudes. squiggles? What the fuck are the squiggles? No the wiggles. <laughs> talking crazy. The wiggles. The oh, the wiggles. Oh, dude, I was like. I was fucking legit smoking weed when the Wiggles came out. <laughs> the I mean, I was 13, but still. Teletubbies? No, nah, I was older. Yeah, it was... Uh, he watched Kojak as a kid? It was G.I. Joe. What? Yeah, it was mainly... It was a lot of fucking G.I. Joe. And turtles were huge. Turtles. turtles. Turtles were fucking huge. But were they huge for you? Yeah, huge turtle guy. So you had he turtles. I'll get turtles. the box of Elios, cut out the fucking thing, When type did it you around. stop asking for action figures? That's what I'm saying. I think even like in the scale of kid like i stopped like er, i'm like yeah i don't want this i you know i don't know who's your favorite turtle i started skate like skateboarding playing hockey and stuff like, oh, nice. like that was mainly my because parents made you feel pretty bad when you were upstairs playing with your guys when you started to get like 13 14 mm-hmm. i imagine you which i think that. is that's the shame you felt. society not i would always thing. jerk off at the same time that's to weird. get both shames out of the way you can't i, I want to get all the shame out me Jerking off and playing with toys? No, not jerking off why I'm playing with toys. I, I'm saying I, even in the same day. When I would go into my room. <laughs> same month. Yeah. When I would go into my room to play with my toys, I knew if anybody discovered me, they'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. So I go in there and jerk off first. So I, all the shame got out of me in, in the same time. And you are twisted. <laughs> Dude, you're... <laughs> Yeah, I remember my uh, my mom. I brought in my that helicopter right there. I remember I got it at way too old of an age as a kid, and being like, "Look what I got!" My mom was like, "You got to get an education. Like you need to stop How with old? this shit, right?" <laughs> what? How old? Well, that I got two years ago. Uh, I, that's not, uh, that's Speaking crazy. frankly, yeah, I mean, all of this stuff. None of this is from the old days. Sure, all of this is the old creating. days. I do, I do love what you've done. Of like recreate, you know, I get it, I understand it, but I, I think the thing is like to, to see you guys light up with emotion, right? Well, you hold the thing in your hand and you have like it's in your imagination, and then you have the 3D it takes you back, it, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like you like Boba Fett, and then you like can like hold it. For me, it was all about like I'll put Boba Fett next to fucking Batman and be like, why are they there? And then then what's that story? What would Boba Fett talk? Okay, Batman hired Boba Fett because he couldn't 
get the Joker himself, and then it helps me create stories. It really is. It, it really is that. filmmaking. It's, it, it is. Yeah. It's script writing. I mean, all right. Let's. I mean, I think. <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm trying to understand both of your part point of the creative here, process. But let's God not damn call it. it script writing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, architects have little houses before right. they make the big. You one. are no architect, my friend. <laughs> um, it does have. An I do. Emotional... It is cool to see you guys light up. Yeah. I appreciate two of my friends now, being see, like. That sounds Dude, condescending. I'm no, no. I'm, Dude, I'm, I'm trying to connect with you. The you're taking it as grip. condescending. You're like a stepdad. <laughs> when you, you get hey, do this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm at CVS and my wife is buying whatever bullshit. Right to the toy department. Band-aids or food or health care for us. Worst toy section in the I, world. I walk into that toy section and I go, there's Captain America. You get a dopamine drip from finding him. It's yep. the hunt. You grab him. You bring him home. You open him. You pose him. And you're like... <laughs> You've got the collection. You've sure. become Craven. You've Where become have you the seen hunter. The Captain America at CVS? It's always it's always those off brand. No, they got Marvel army Legends. guys. They, they do. Yes, yeah, CV. No, not CVS. Captain North Dwayne America. Reed <laughs> and <laughs> like Walgreens. Captain Central America. <laughs> <laughs> they have a great Walgreens. Great toy section. Yeah, because Toys R Us went down and they all started getting little tiny toy sections now. Ooh. When Toys R Us so everything go back, everything's combining again. All the stores right. are combining. But we yeah. The dopamine drip is real because when I was Very a kid. Real. Speaking of Friday night, Greg, I remember a specific Friday night. When I was a little kid, my aunt and uncle were watching me. They had a daughter who was my age. She's my my cousin Tracy. We're like, you know, she's like a sister, super close. So they're watching me. They were the fun aunt and uncle. Um, we went out to Clover, mm -hmm. which is was like a Woolworths. Yeah, but it was a little local. more discount. Yeah, a little than more a, discount. But they had a toy section that would choke a pig. It was, right, uh, and this is fucking probably eighty eight. So yeah. we're talking. Where's action. Clover? It was, it was. I guess it was like a f regional Philadelphia. You know, thing. Oh, you, know, you know what Strawbridge's and Clothier is? Dude, Have you ever heard of that department store? No, I heard nothing. <laughs> Strawbridge's and Clothier. No. And then it just went to Strawbridge's. Strawbridge's. Yeah. You never heard of Strawbridge's? No. I guess it was a Philadelphia company, but they had they owned this place called Clover, which would be like a oh, Sears or a Target okay. or a Woolworths. Clothes, toys, all that kind. Yeah, of Yeah, it was stuff. a like a lower end department store Great. kind of. Gotcha. And I remember we went in there. All right, she's like, pick out whatever you want. And I got a little battle scene, a little Cobra nice. like radar station. Couple of Cobra guys went back, a yeah. little bit of fucking Palermo's pizza, yeah. threw on Miami Vice, up in their room on their bed by myself, playing with my fucking my setup. Wow, clean living, dude. Let me show you this. I dude. don't have any memories of that. Like of that, I was more of like a Law and Order kid. If brisk, if you had a, yeah, if you had a Brisco, a Brisco car, car cutout or figurine, I'd be so into it. Down there watching Golden Girls. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Smoking. the dopamine drip. Check the Viper. Oh, I love these guys. Yeah, and this this was. The, you asked me before what was my what was my Cobra bad guy. It was this. It was these guys. Yeah, those Cobra my Viper troopers. But I only ever had one when I was a kid because yeah. we didn't army build like we they talked do about. Now. We talked about this. Yeah, that's what I wish I would have went back and done and bought. I wish I would have when I when I bought them would have known to buy thirty stormtroopers. My parents would have never allowed that. No. They're not. They're going not getting the high. same one. What's wrong with you? Any figures? I, I ever, my I guess, parents are making sense. Then I, I get a say. slap and a cigarette put out on my neck. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't even allowed to pick figures growing up. It was I was like, Mom, I want Ninja Turtles, and it was random. She just grab whatever, and then you hoped that you got the good one. Ah, uh, when they would get you the button, when they would get you like the the side guy, they'd get you like the. The equivalent of like the referee, right? Ugh. Yeah, dumb broad. I mean, yeah. Oh, wrestling was huge too as a kid. They, wrestling wrestling picks? was big for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which ones did you have? Those uh, rubber, rubber ones, were super hard, no movement. Did you have the ring? Hard. Well, we had the. I had the the WWF ring. It was back with WWF, oh, and then yeah. even before. We had like they were probably like the size of that guy, but they were like the pillows. Oh kinda. yeah, it was, like, oh. Pillow buddy. we had the Ultimate Warrior. My like my wrestling buddies or something. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. My brother had the Ultimate Fuck Warrior at a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he had a couple of thrusts yeah. late night, and I had Sting. A couple of drinks. Were you a WCW in here? guy? Uh, That's garbage. For years, yeah. <laughs> for a few years, it the would flip flop back. If when it was what was it Monday Night Raw and oh, Nitro? Those at those days, we were all flipping back. Yeah, NWL, it was jumping back was and awesome. forth. It was yeah, like, sure. and then like I think that's when Hogan flip flopped. All right, I remember when that happened. And uh, my, yeah, those. That, yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those things, those little, a couple of elbow those drops little, on those guys. Those two little whores right there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> they had the same begging boots. for it. Uh, yeah. Dude, people who were WCW people before the NWO. Those are garbage people. Garbage. Yeah, I think we went... Because the NWO, was, you got to figure, I was 10 or so. Right. And they were like, that was like the bad boys. Yeah, so you were cool. like, this is the coolest 
these are the outlaw. You know, it's like, yeah. this is the coolest thing in the world. I that and then DX too was huge. I was a teenager. We were watching like WWF at one of my buddies' house, and his dad was a real low life. He's like, <laughs> "Turn that pussy shit off." We watched WCW in this house now. Jeez, wow! It was like, it was like Fox News back then. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the worst gift you ever got? I graduated <laughs> high school, and I got a. You like want money? You're like I'm going away to college. Right, you know right, what right, I mean? Right. And I got a trapper keeper from my uncle. <laughs> Mine going into recently. college, going into he gave me a like we like graduated high school. We're like, all right, oh, wow. you know, it's like we're Three having bucks. a family party. All the kids are like sneaking beer, you know, like every the parents are like looking the other way. Yeah. And he hands me like a five star trapper keeper, and I was like, one star gift, five <laughs> star trapper keeper. <laughs> it sat in my mom's house for like years. Wow, it just sat in a closet. That's pretty boring. Yeah, a trapper keeper to an eighteen year old kid going away to college. What's that uncle up to now? <laughs> I don't know. We don't really speak that much. Yeah, to be I honest. wouldn't either. That, that was kind that of the straw been, that broke the camel's <laughs> back. Hey, I got you some mouthwash. Uh, good luck to you. <laughs> Mine was a couple weeks ago. My girlfriend's birthday. She goes to San Francisco. Her brother, sister. Compliments are you garbage. No big deal. Nice. Comes back. Fucking San Francisco Bay sweater for my mom. Fucking candles. Things for the kids. Yeah. I got a $1.49 little mustard and a little hunk of cheese that was like three bucks. From the plane. Literally, she got it. She was yeah. like, I, forgot I was like, you got this at the hotel for free. Yeah. I don't know what to get you. But her defense, she's like, I can't buy you clothes. Very because true. they don't carry fucking elephant sizes <laughs> <laughs> at the gift shop. She went to the zoo. <laughs> it's lion skin. Oh, man. Yeah, it's tough. I did have one aunt back in the day that would always, without fail, Christmas would never be a toy. Yeah. It would be a shirt. Like, Getting ugh, clothes same. at a 10 year old. Like, Get I wanted. The fuck out of here. Nerf was huge. Like, I was also a big Nerf, all that right. kind of stuff. The Super Soak, whatever. Yeah. To get, like, a. And you saw it coming as the box. You're like, oh. there's no way anything cool is in this sh yeah. shirt, this shirt box. They got me a, my aunt got me a shirt that had three dogs on it. <laughs> and one was green, like an alien. And it said, take me to your breeder. Oh. And I went, I don't even know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This tell is why you. you're not married. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, like always we'd get a shirt. We'd always get some kind of weird off brand hot topic weird thing that you go, what do I do with this? Sure. Tough to tell you. Take me not to my you. worst. Did you have dogs growing up? No, we did, but I was not a dog person. <laughs> I was eight, you know? It was like, what the fuck is this? It was like, did you get this from your breeder? Yeah, it's a commercial. Weird. That's it was weird. very weird. And a bunch of those a Petco t shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a Petco employee shirt. Dude, my mom, my uh, my dad, divorce family, right? Mm -hmm. My dad, one year, home run, right? He goes, I got you a drum set, right? Ooh. Puts it together in his apartment. He goes, You could try it now, right? I start doing it. He goes, Can't do it too loud because I'm in an apartment. So, gotta do it when you get home. I get home. My mom goes, Are you fucking serious? You got this kid a drum set? You that can't, he can't play. Kids all house. jacked up on Ridlin, <laughs> right? Yeah, and she and like as a kid, I was like, my mom was like, "You got to return it." This kid's in and out of Sylvan Learning Center. You bring him, <laughs> you bring him home a noisemaker. Yeah, as a kid, you're like, "Oh man, my mom is fucked up," because she fucking yeah made me return it. Then you realize my dad was kind of the fucked up yeah. one on yeah, this. of course, return it. Um, you were a suicide bomber at that point. <laughs> he, was, he was strapping a vest on you. Go back to your mom's house. Blow up her Wednesday yeah, night. Yeah. He really pissed her up. Yeah. And she was, I don't want no guys coming home. Yeah. Play the drums. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Year later, my mom felt bad about it. She gets me an electric drum that she must have got for like 35 bucks. And it was a thing where you'd be like, you'd be doing this. It's like, oh, like that 80s shit, shit? That Phil Collins It wasn't shit? quick enough to it pick up the... Yeah, enough. I know that. It's I know exactly what you're talking about. Sucked. It had headphones. And she's mm -hmm. like, you like it? And I was like... Yeah, I love you, Mom. Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love that you got me a gift. Sure. But don't don't love the gift. Don't love the gift. Yeah. They got me an M when when iPods came out, mm -hmm. I got an MP three player. Nice. What kind? Do you remember the name of it? Oh Arcos? It was brutal. Something like that. Yeah. It was so shitty. I'll one up you. When you get something like that, when like, you know, you want the cool thing, but yeah. you get you're like, What? It fucks you up as a kid. Yeah. I know it's selfish and it's you know, first world problems kind of thing, but it fucks you up. You're like, fuck. Can't show up to the fucking set like that. I think we yeah. have first wheel problems because we live in a first world. Fair I'm enough. Sorry, yeah, it'd be weird if problems. I didn't have water to drink. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> had flies flying around my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, if we're going to do it. Let's do it right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I had two things that the best, the thing, thing back, the best gift I ever got my aunt, she was, uh, she was like a vice president of like Comcast. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of cash back in the day. And she's single, no kids. Wow. And so she would take all, of, she would take like, 
me and my brother and like the two other cousins that were like that age, the two other boy, and we were able to go buy whatever we wanted at the mall. Each of us had a hundred bucks to spend. Yeah, yeah and this yeah. is like. 93 100 bucks like you yeah. you know would you get savings bonds <laughs> so i went right I'm over a, to fidelity bank <laughs> i'm in the cash for gold place <laughs> uh no so we went to like sports authority or that time it was models or you know herman's or whatever um and i remember do my brother got the full catcher gear nice. like the helmet because he played he was in the baseball so he got the full helmet the shin pad and like that was back in the day when no one had for that. 100 yeah it seems cheap well, yeah i mean you know i don't know sure it's pretty good <laughs> I don't have the receipts on me. I don't know why you're fact checking us. <laughs> uh, maybe it was 120. I don't know. Greg, yeah. he's obviously lying. The 120 dollars back then was a thousand dollars. That's what I'm of saying. Course. It was early yeah. 90s, so it yeah. was like you know. Uh, and I got the full because uh, I played <laughs> hockey, so I got the full cheerleader uniform. <laughs> I was the I coach. Got a, I, got a I got a suit and a clipboard. I was the coach. <laughs> no, you got, the, you got the full umpire suit. <laughs> no, I got the full. He got the. <laughs> I got hockey goalie. Like yeah. uh, not all of it, but like you know, like we got like a cheap pair of the leg pads, the waffle, and the, as a kid, I know the leg pads you're talking about. Were they tan? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, know yeah. the exact ones. They were probably like twenty nine ninety nine or yeah. whatever. But we got that. We got the chest protector because back back in the day, if you were playing hockey, you had to like piece it together with like yeah. a, a catcher's mitt, a stiff. But like, dude, we showed up the next day in the cul de sac, and it was like all the kids were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> we were playing hockey and baseball at the same time. Who got this? You must have looked like, wow. look like two samurais. Dude, <laughs> fuck. Who walks great. around like that? I mean, we were walking around. I'm walking around like, like Axel Rose. It's not like I wore to school. <laughs> Dude, my fucking aunt, the aunt who got me the Are You Breeder, right? Uh -huh. We always knew. Going with like, all right, everyone, get your smiles ready. They're going to give us some bad gifts. One year, they give us, we all get like a card with nothing in it. And we were like, that's okay. They're great. I sure, got the card. Out. They give the gift to my dad. He opens it up. There's a box with a letter in it. And we're like, oh, God, great, whatever this is. And they just go, uh, we want to thank you guys. We love you, blah, blah, blah. And that's why this year, everyone's going to Disney World. What? Holy <laughs> shit! They took my but whole Greg, family. Greg, make sure you wear your dog shirt. <laughs> <laughs> One contingency. Dude. Greg has to wear the dog shirt. <laughs> it was literally a lifetime of horrible gifts. That's great. Then made up for Fuck it a with with a lifetime of memories in one day. Wait, this is a story. This, this right. Is an aunt. <laughs> it's a movie. Dude, that's this crazy. Is an, your aunt and uncle. Yeah. They, they didn't have kids. They had kids. They had two my cousins, and they're great, too. So they were taking... The whole crew. Wow. My brother, my sister. They hit the lottery or something? A scratcher? Or no. do they have some money? They I think they have some money. They also love Disney World, so I think they go every year. So I think they may have had points and points all this or stuff. Points something and to a guy. All this. Yeah. And, and we were... Well, I mean, as a child, as I grew, there was no... Disney World. So it was the greatest thing. Yeah, we never went in the world. My parents did take us when we were like very young and we, I think my mom like won a scratch off and she went Sure, oh, let's go. Yeah, the yeah. chance. Let's blow this 5 grand. Get in the car. Yeah. And then my uncle actually so this is actually crazy cuz I'm just remembering this now. My uncle took only me cuz he's my godfather. So he took only me with his family and I, and I think then the next year they went we're taking everybody. Wow. So it was like I went to Disney World like 3 fucking times it's because pretty good. they were good. awesome. But it's like Comeback story, like you yeah. said, Dude, worst hell Mary pass. Yeah. Right, exactly. listen here, you pussies. Everybody, get your get your get your plane tickets. Let's go. So yeah. we heard you've been talking shit about <laughs> exactly. our president. Yeah. I think they heard this podcast and they went, <laughs> Put "We're this doing this fat little world. bastard in the presidential suite." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was why it was wild. But that's great. Yeah. Never Disney World when we were kids. We knew we couldn't ask, or it was never going to happen. Right? Did you ever never. go? No, my mom went with her friends. We should go. In like 2000. That's one of the Patreon goals. I think the next one we're going to do is I'm going to take him to Disneyland. Really? Yeah. Disney World. World. World's World. 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 And you World's in Florida. I'm yeah. not going to fucking the one in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to, I'll take him, I'm going to take him to Disney I've World. I've had funnel really cake funny. before. I want the fucking real deal. Epcot Center, the thing around the world. The, the Millennium the fucking... Falcon is there now. Yeah, they Millennium have the Falcon. Millennium Falcon there now. And you're playing Chewy. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Put the mask on and everything. <laughs> Dude, the Stormtroopers dance and shit. Yet. I, I haven't I been like there. That. I like when they hold. My, my dream. Too. I, I want to rent stormtroopers one time. I'm just figuring out when I'm going to do it. Have for sex him. with them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you two. <laughs> you two start kissing. <laughs> Wait, so hey, you in the back. Make it. Make it look like you act like you're liking it. <laughs> so how, if you get a certain amount of Patreon subscribers, so, you'll so I think, you I think at three thousand subscribers, you'll take him or to like two thousand seven hundred. I got to figure out the number. Uh, I'm going to take. Yeah. It's All right. Be fully Let me ask this. If I get. Five. Full package. 
I'm not staying off campus either. Don't try to fucking. I, I've heard enough horror stories. I'm not staying in fucking Daytona or nothing. <laughs> taking the shuttle down. Well, I want to say if I get a thousand Patreon I stay subscribers to my fans. I'm buying a full Mandalorian costume, real metal, everything, and I'm wearing it every episode. <laughs> it's going to be actual Beskar. Yeah, it's going to be full Beskar. Mm. I'm going to dress Anthony up like Baby Yoda, and that will be the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Man, you guys got to go. Can I? How do I? If you guys go, can I come? I'll pay my own way. Sure. I want to sure. go to Disney World as men. Of course. We go as I've men. Gone. You were supposed to do the Are You Garbage Invitational that we were supposed to do today. today but it yeah. got out. This. You said it got rained out, but I'm like, why don't we just, we don't got to film it. Let's just go play golf. I would have just went and go play golf. I play. We play weekly. Me and Cassidy. You can come and do that anytime you want. Really? It's I'm competitive not, though. No. Thousand a game. I don't mind losing thousand every week. <laughs> <laughs> I got That's that on. <laughs> I'm kidding. We both stink. I. You should come and it's fun. I just get real high and whip that thing into hell. That's what we do. It's real fun. Yeah. Take a couple eddies. Oh. Maybe a little micro dose. Go out there for a couple hours. Nice sunshine. What's a micro dose like? Mushrooms? Yeah. I've never taken mushrooms. Ever? No. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you need them. I want to, yeah. You I've always these things. To. I'll be talking to you. I was going to do it on my fortieth birthday. I was going to do it in this room by myself, and then someone said, "Don't." Oh, do Oh, that's that. too much. Dude. <laughs> I've never done them either, but yeah. that's too much. <laughs> All right, fifteen hundred. We're doing mushrooms. No, no, no. Seven thousand. Thirteen hundred. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two more Patreons. Two more. And we're all doing heroin. One more Patreon subscriber, and uh, we're going to do cocaine. And I'm doing fentanyl. Uh, What's the worst drug you ever did? The heaviest. That's Commissioner Gordon. Get in there. Uh, pain, you got me talking in front of the cops. Huh? Painkillers. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. Yeah, but for fun I, or for so pain? what happened was I took them. They were really bad. That they hit like the well the opioid epidemic like ravaged my high school. Sure, like, it was like bad uh, in a funny way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talking about action figures here. No, but they have painkillers got big, and I took them, and I didn't like them. I didn't feel good, and then I actually hurt my hand, and I was right. like, I was, you know, whatever. I couldn't get to the hospital for like the next day or whatever, so I took them, and I had an allergic reaction. It turns out I'm allergic to like hydrocodone and codeine, like both like Percocet and Vicodin, whatever the two compounds are. Yeah, yeah. So then that happened when I was like a senior, and I'm like, I'm just staying away from fucking everything because I ended up in the hospital for the reaction. There's no weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I not panic. Really. Not, it's not my thing. So just a little alcohol? Do you even drink? Oh, I drink a lot. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, that makes okay. up for uh, everything else. Up? You don't have to be doing something. Sure, no, you I know. know. What I mean? Actually, yes, I just, I smoke, I smoke cigs and drink a lot of uh, alcohol. I've only ever smoked weed, so you're not in like too heavy company. I didn't drink till I was 30. A lot of people yeah, know I've that about me. Yeah, I've heard that about you. Yeah, I was straight edge. This guy's a little up. wacky. Yeah, there's probably a bunch of X's on that fucking dresser from when I Did was... Did you do the X's on the hands? Oh, yeah. I was yeah. on the street. Punk. That's yeah. the line. that you sniff up your nose? Yeah, I used to sing <laughs> crazy songs. Ah, no, take your phone. Do your thing, okay, man. I'm what sorry. are we doing? Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, I, this... I, this goes to, we were doing an episode like two weeks ago or last yeah. week or whatever. And at one point, I'm, it's just an episode of me and him. I don't know if it was on Patreon or yeah. for what. And so it's like, clearly we're having a conversation. It's a game of volleyball. You're hitting sure. the ball back sure. and forth. You know what I mean? I'm telling something and I'm telling a story and I look over, dude, he's, he's pushed his chair back <laughs> from, the, from the table. The mic's here. And he's, he's got a fountain, an empty fountain soda with just some ice. And he's like tapping. He's like just chewing the eye, like just complete. And I go, "What the fuck?" Right. I just like yell out. You check me. your phone every once in a while too. I'm sorry, I felt it. I felt it buzz. Sure. I haven't and checked I'm, my my keys. All the all, all the not, drugs you do, you got to do Adderall. All right, that's what we need yeah. you to do. I'm, I'm waiting to hear back about my cousin. He's in surgery. That's why. Oh, I now we're the dicks. Yes, he's not are. in surgery. <laughs> this <laughs> happened yesterday. He's lying. He's having a root canal. He's oh, lying it's to oral you. surgery. He's lying, dude. He's just lying to you. <laughs> no, he got, he got he had surgery this morning. I'll show you the thing. Show yeah, this for what? Yeah, I want I'll, a I'll check. Yeah. I'll check. I'll, uh, no. What's Don't go back on your phone. Root canal? No, he had his uh, meniscus flipped. At they a flipping it? Game. They flipping <laughs> it? Flipping, flopping it. They flipped his meniscus, yeah. Who's your basketball player? Football player. Really? Yeah. I just made that up. Football player. Nice. You got COVID? No. All right. I don't know. Hopefully. I got Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Gary? Yeah, man. Uh, with drugs, you know, it's uh, I forgot what I said. Uh, They're not for me. Yeah, They're not, fair. you know, it's just not. Uh, I'm a big control freak. Never liked them. Yeah. Who? You know him? Loved them. Drugs. Sure. What's the weirdest drug you ever did? Ask me. I'll tell you if I've done it. Uh, acid. Millions of times. Millions. Really? Yeah. Heroin. Yes. Once by accident. Really? What was that like? Sucked. It made me sick to my stomach. Okay. Somebody Thank handed God. me a bag and said it was cocaine, and I took a, a whack out of it, and it was heroin. So then cocaine. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Only when there's no heroin around. Crack? 
Yes. You smoke crack? Yeah, I smoked crack in North Carolina when I got out of theater school. Got All the rich kids did it down there, and that's who I hung out with. They would buy really good coke, and then they would uh, they would make crack out of it. Uh, smoke it out of a soda can. You ever take? You ever take uh, as many? So what is those the shitting pills? X lax. X lax. I think it's uh, one of them. You can if you take a ton of them, it's essentially the same thing as like it a hit, Percocet. It hits a high. No. Yeah, but you have to take like 15 bottles. It's like an insane amount That's of... That's crazy. Who figured that out for the first time? Some kid that was out of perks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, Hemmed up in a bad spot. I've done those a lot, though. They're great. Dude, I... I Especially around the holidays. A Percocet and a cup of coffee with a little fucking Baileys in it. Yeah. Ooh, get you in the holiday spirit. <laughs> Dangerous, though. <laughs> yeah, very. Yeah, I've done, okay, them, I've done pretty much everything. Nice. I'm trying to even know any other drugs. I only know weed. You ever done that? You ever do weed? You smoke weed? Yeah. Do you smoke weed often? No, I take uh, edibles. Fair enough. Yeah, it's the yeah. only thing. I, it's the only thing. Got to do it in candy. Only thing I would ever take. Not going to make any jokes here. Edibles. But there's a there's one staring at me. There's a joke staring at me, and I'm not going to take. Don't it. Don't take it. Don't. Oh, fat guy joke. Yep. No. no. What? No. 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 Hmm. <laughs> Can um, I have a piece of cheesecake? <laughs> uh, what's the what's best? that stuff? What stuff? Corax White. Oh, that's I sniffed the shit out of that dude. <laughs> He's or a do, big huffer. No, it's a primer for when I'm painting my figs. Uh, when you're painting, oh really? Yeah, I like to do custom figs. Oh, yeah, I do like customs. I used to get into the mix when uh, comedy was going real bad for me. I would uh, I would make my own figures and shit, and it sell was like them? a thing. I'd sell them. I'd sell them every now and again. Uh, then people got really good at it, and I can't do it anymore. Cause they I'm were all just you, <laughs> yeah. Super Greg. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you see my Cobra Commander helmet up there? It's pretty sweet. Yeah, pretty sweet. Uh, this you have another helmet up there, too. Oh, that's my uh, that's Wedge. That's Wedge's helmet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Which one was he? Wedge was the boy. He was the boy, X Wing fighter. He was uh, Wedge. With well, the guy in the back that died. In the no, that's speed. Dak. Ah, you know who stunk? Who is the kind of chubby guy that's in the new Porkins? Ones? Oh, that guy. No, Porkins was great. Yeah, that was wasn't his real name. That was his name, Porkins. Oh, he, all the all the fat guys oh, vibrate yeah. in the X Wings. The Family Guy kills him. Really? When they when they do the uh, the blue um, what was it called? When they do the Star Wars remake on Family Guy. I didn't see it. Are you kidding me? Are you mad at me? Yes. <laughs> the, you're lying. <laughs> first of all, in. I'm not a big Family Guy guy. They did all three movies. Really? Oh, on DVD great. or what? Uh, just as episodes. Blue Harvest. It's called. Really? There's Blue Harvest. It's funny. They're fucking awesome. I don't like when people insult my things. Oh, it's so good. All right, I'll watch it. It's good stuff. But they do him, and he's so fat he can't fit into it. <laughs> Speaking of worst gifts, right behind you, see that uh, those are clouds Anthony bought me from eBay. It's just the inside of a pillow that he paid however much money <laughs> it for. It looks pretty good, though. I'll give you that. Did he say they were clouds? Yeah, it, just, it was a box. He, he gave me the box or the bag. It's I opened clouds. it. It was a plastic bag of that, and I kept digging through it, thinking, thinking it was something it was, that was the bag. That was the packaging, and he was like, "No, that's it." I'm like, "This is it. I mean, that's gotta, it." Okay. Someone's got to be standing in there, right? Someone's yeah, got to be. My come, my, I don't my mess with in there. Greg's stuff, please. Ooh, Black Bolt, Black Bolt. Love the Black way you, Bolt. I've never heard a man say it like that before. Black, Black Bolt. Bolt. Yeah, yeah, and his dog. That's his dog up there. Uh, that's his dog. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. He's an eternal. That dog's way bigger than no. him. Though. Inhuman. Inhuman. That's right. Right. I love that you quiz me, kind of. You see that fig right he there? He just had a thing of porkins up there. Put it up oh, in the Mikey. That's, Come on, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty Foley right now. That looks exactly <laughs> like... Same shirt. Sure, here, put the helmet on. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Is it yes. fucked up? Put the helmet on, you yeah, No, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, Riddler. go back to that. <laughs> They're all over me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shake them. <laughs> I'm going to stop by and grab something to eat real quick, <laughs> and then I'll catch up with you guys when I hit light speed. You guys want any space Wendy's? <laughs> <laughs> and we got oh, the clip. This thing's awesome. We got the clip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mark it. We got the clip. Oh, man. Does Holy this thing go heck. up? What? Do the glasses go up? No. No, it's, it's, it's stuck on there forever, ah. I think. I just want to give you everything. No wonder why they were fucking getting their ass kicked. You can't see shit in these <laughs> <Yeah>. things. <laughs> You oh, this crazy. is awesome. It, Dude, I will just start wearing too. this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. It's so hot in there, right? It's great. You are my business partner. That is not a good look. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this thing is just like fits me, man. 
It does it not. It does not it does fit not? you. Yeah. No. Your shirt fits better than that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I read for one of those dumbass movies, too. What the fuck? You your forehead is smushed You're, against the, the thing. thing. is digging into your eyes. I know. Your eyebrows are is smushed what, against the glass. Is that what you think fitting hey, is? Hey, man, it's all for the rebellion. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I could, oh, the parrot. Oh, uh, things are getting wonky over here. This thing. Oh, you just, just knocked down that purple guy. I didn't. I love that Obi Wan is like, "Yeah, the helmet just doesn't fit. You're gonna have to stay home today." <laughs> I want to fight for the rebellion. Damn, this thing's sweet. Hold that for me. No. Great. Uh, yeah. Thank you. It is uh, wetter than a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was. There was. I mean, <laughs> the fog you were the, the condensation you were producing on the on the glasses <laughs> part of it was, was something else. Oh man. So uh, we had a gas or. No. Look at that guy. No, I don't think it's that thing. guy. It's the it's he's kind of a good looking dude. He's in the new ones. He's in a couple different things. Poe Dameron? No, not no, Poe Dameron. Snap Wexley is the fat guy in the new Snap. ones. Let's see a picture of him. Yeah, that's him. Not that guy though. Can you see can I see him with out so he's, no, there he's he taking is. a dump? <laughs> <laughs> oh look he fell. Goddamn sentinel fell. That thing's too Ah oh, fuck. I don't even know how to do Ah oh, boy. I just leave it. You know you're not getting the full capacity of your AC with when you have the blinds down, right? Well, because I don't want the thing blowing on your neck, uh, killing you. Yeah, that fucking. You want full capacity? That guy, guy stinks. What else is he in? I don't know. What are those vests even doing? Is it for like water? Him and the him and the guy him and the fat guy that was on Guy Code. A couple of real the fat, fat guy, guy bozos. On guy Code. Yeah, there was a chubby guy on uh, Guy Code. And he was in Star Wars? I never watched the no, program. No, he was in Star Wars. Yeah. I'm just saying, both Code of those guy. fat guys think is fat. You were you on Girl Code? No. Oh, no, okay. I was on nothing. <laughs> I was on nothing. I think nothing. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Season Ran a couple two? seasons. Um, yeah. Uh, that's what's good. your questions? Now, all these, I wrote these when I was high, and they all are, uh, they all, I'm looking at them like, this is crazy. When do we sing a song? Do we Says sing what? a song? Do you want to sing a song? I thought that's what you always did. No, I did it once when Harumi's here, but oh. he's not here. Oh, I would have, I would love to have you guys come on and do night cream. That's what I thought we were supposed I'll to cream do. Cream it up. You want cream? We can't do it now. I don't have my yeah, man. We'll come back. We'll cream it up. Go down. Cream it up. Yeah. You got. Um, this is what it says. You want to hear my questions? Yes. It says what figs you have. We already answered that. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. wasn't too bad. We of a got question. there, and we actually got there before. Hold I on. Even pause before. that sidebar. Uh-huh. Okay. Sidebar. Are now. you a fig Newton guy? Yes. No. Okay. Go I won't go out and buy them, but if you got them, I'll eat them. Yeah, fresh, if you're going out and buying fresh them. couple fig newtons, and, there, and there's a co- company that makes, there's a company called Fig that makes really good ones. Fig, Find them in Crafty. Fig Newman was, I, mean, I loved that he where he worked his name. Who? Newman. Paul Newman has like ranch dressing and shit. Oh, he does? He has he Fig Newman's? Fig Newman's. It's pretty good. And I love it. I love This stuff ain't that. too shabby either. Man puts out what? a pretty decent microwave popcorn. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, man does good stuff. Oh, yeah. All Dead s- is a doornail. All nonprofit. Gives it all to yeah. charity. What does nonprofit mean? Oh, gives it all to charity. Gives it all to charity. Yeah. So when people say they work for nonprofits, usually they make a lot of money, I thought. Yes. So that's what I don't understand. So typically. Systems rig, Greg. Yeah, typically it's like not a lot of money ends up going to the. Profit? To the. Uh, what charity. Is charity. The right. person in need. It's like, sometimes it's like 9%. If they do like $100 million a year. They do that bullshit. $9 so they million. Dollars go, like get, Susan G. Komen, who's like, you know, that has like, the, they have like an NFL, they have like a Monday Night Football. Like everybody yeah. dresses in pink. It's like pennies like on the dollar. Like those on the street, too. I know. Oh, we just talked about this because Toby, our producer, shout out to T Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, mm-hmm. was one of those guys. He worked for this. It's a third party for profit company yes. that acts like they're collecting money for um, Planned like Parenthood, child, yeah. children for humanity, or right. something like that. And they only give like a tiny, tiny bit away. And they're all living like fat cats down in Miami. What a fucking scam. Yeah, yeah. and they get fucking a bunch of hippie dirtbags that have nothing to do that come out and fucking make you feel weird as you're walking to work. Right, and they get on our street. I said, well, I had a lady come up to me once. She's like, how do you feel about children? And I went, not in my home. <laughs> not at my home. You go somewhere else. You don't do this at my home. For dinner? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those people. So my second question, this just says, manhunt games you played? Like manhunt at just night? Man hunt? <laughs> What's manhunt? You didn't have manhunt? Like free, we called it freedom. Freedom. You mean jailbreak? You jailbreak was what? another one. Two yeah. groups of two groups of people. Yes. One like jail. Hide and, hide and seek, seek for team. adults at what night. Yes. Fucking, wait, as an adult? 
No, I mean not as not, not as a kid, but like older kid. As you weren't a teenager, doing it. dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Older. Yes. We used to play manhunt. We also had this guy named Dayon. He used to hang around. He was 35 years old, and he would uh, he'd try to molest us. And so, uh, <laughs> shout out. He used Talk to about playing for keeps. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he used to do steady finder. Well, you never did, like no. Everyone wants to hide. Yeah, you want to hide. He'd be like, "No, I want to find you." And it was like you you you're in a bottom of a pool, hiding, and then he fucking grabs you. That's it's, creepy. You'd have to run. Jesus, yeah. Yeah. serpents lurk. He's yeah. What uh? What was the thing? If you like, you had to grab. What did you manhunt? One, two, three, manhunt. What yeah. did you say? Um, if you if you just got tagged, you got brought back to the jail. But typically, you had a, there was a saying because you couldn't just you had to like yeah. capture. Like, yes. I'm gonna hold, like if you just got a hand on him, it didn't count. You had yeah. to like two hands. Nah. You two hands. No typewriter. You couldn't do. Yeah, two. Yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, we we maybe you had to have two hands instead of one. Maybe yeah, that's what it was. But we were playing winter rules. We didn't do whatever that. We play. We used to. Winter you have rules. to say your. Uh, we brought one, you back to you the say, base. What did you say? One, two, three, manhunt. We would say one, two, three. You're my man. No breaks. These loxies. That's so long. I know. You couldn't catch nobody with that. Yeah, we were pros. You know? <laughs> <laughs> did you guys ever play doorknob? Whoa, I think we did. Where you, you said something, but you, and yes, if you, you cursed, him. you had to touch a doorknob, and if you couldn't, you got punched in the arm. I think yeah, you would someone would call doorknob or something. If someone cursed, you'd call doorknob. Yeah, something like that. You yeah, touch a doorknob. Also, too, which was good, which was an older game that that got introduced like by one of our parents because uh-huh. we were playing Freedom, and they're like, you know what, you should do play kick the can. Did you ever play the kick the can? Right. It's like a sixty. Would you just kick a can? No. Well, no. it was like Freedom, and then to free the jail. Remember, you would go to jail, yeah. and then you have to sneak up on the jail, and you had to, like guards like yo, I'll guard the jail, and you had to yeah. sneak up, and then free yell Freedom, and then everybody would run loose. This was you had a kick. We used like a uh, like a two liter, like an empty two liter. It was like yeah. sitting in someone's driveway, and you would like sneak out and fucking run up and just punt. It was like the greatest That's achievement. Really fun because it just flew, and you're like ah, and everybody would run away. If you great. kicked it, you, they were that afraid? was every that was the way you free That's like really reset fun. the game. Yeah, Greg was inside goal? playing his drums, <laughs> working on his music. I mean, you guys just geeked out over action figures, and you're yeah. making fun of him for having a drum set. Yeah, yeah. that's how I'm doing it. Let's make sure we're on the same page. Trying to get the heat off me. Dude, we had this guy. His name was Akbar. Like we, I lived like near Newark, so we had these kids who would kind of like. It was actually our big kid. He was like six foot five. We were thirteen. He looked like he was a monster. 50. Yeah, huge guy. Beat the shit out of people, but he was like sweet. But he was like a horrifying guy. Sure. I remember when he would be guarding base, and everybody was caught, and then someone came running, and he just goes, "Nah," and they were like. You're all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. yeah I was yeah. going to go back and hide again. I'll circle back. Yeah. Let me know when you take your break. I'll circle back. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'm not even going to try to catch you, but you ain't free of nobody. Yeah. Like, all right, buddy. That's that, not fun. That was good. Well, he was a scary guy. You know what else is real good? Run the bases. No, oh, I hated running bases. What? I hated all baseball related things. Really? Yeah, I always I had run the bases. Vision. I had like the pickle? Vision. Pickle, yeah. Or like, yeah, it was like two. And, like, there was like two. Ends. There was two bases. Yeah, it could, it could have been trees. It didn't have to yeah. be. Yeah, it was like two thing, two endpoints, and you would throw like a tennis ball or a baseball back and forth. I think you had to like run it out or yeah, something. It, it was like, like a monkey in the middle, kind of similar. But I don't think you were trying to. Well, you're trying to get not tagged out at the next. What base a humiliating game, monkey in the middle. Oh, it's tough, right? You're yeah. in the middle, and they just embarrass you. Mm-hmm. You'll never get it. You're running back and forth. No the only way it better. worked is when it was two kids and a dad in the middle. Because yeah. the dad had the advantage, he could actually get it, and he had confidence. Yeah. You yeah. know, you couldn't destroy him with uh, he'd keep him and in the middle for four hours. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, one other question is: uh, Do you guys ever talk about Atlantic City on Are You Garbage? What about Atlantic, Atlantic City? City? I feel like it's the most garbage place. And I was just there. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, we should go. It's the Hive. I gotta We've go been. back. When? So I'm working at the Borgata this week. Technically, I just came home for this. Nice. I'm working. It was a. Sunday show, Monday show, and then Friday show. Yeah, because you were down that? with McIntyre. You were down with I Nathan. left him there. Yeah. I left him in Atlantic City. He's there I, alone. I texted him on, like, whatever, like, this weekend. We were talking uh, to, to do our pod. And I was like, yo, can you whatever? And he's like, I'm actually in uh, AC. AC all week. And I was like, oof, good luck, man. Yeah. Like, that's a, t- that's a long time to be there. And he goes, I'm with Stone, so it's cool. And then you left him. You I abandoned, him. <laughs> you abandoned your, your partner. I feel like I left him in Nam too. It can't yeah. be too bad this time of year. You got the beach, and the Borgata's got to be somewhat nicer. See, Vegas. And the shows have to be decent. There's The shows are bad. The shows are really? bad. It's a big room and yeah. not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. Yeah. Also, they're not like, it's mostly people who have gambled too much. And, and they get comp these tickets. Yeah. They're stopping the hemorrhaging of money. So, so they're, they're not like, hey, break. we're having fun. Uh, yeah. Dude, I had a guy, first show, I go, 
all right, what's up, man? You know, what do you do? And he goes, I'm a scientist, and I ain't vaxxed. And the whole crowd was like, what? And, like, that was his heckle, that he's a scientist and he's not vaxxed. Playing by their own rules down there. Yeah, they don't care. Whack it, though. They that was, care. We, we, were, uh, we were down there maybe two years before the pandemic, so maybe, like, three summers ago or whatever it was, and uh, we had to go get batteries for our recorder because we were recording a pod in the hotel room. Yeah. And we walked to a CVS, and there was a guy behind us. Mm-hmm. We were like next in line, and I turn around, and he's actively bleeding from oh the God. face. Like, yeah, act, and we turn around, the oh, like we're both like startled. It's yeah, like yeah, a zombie. Yeah. We're like, Not oh. getting band aids. Yeah, we're like, oh way. shit. We're like you can go. Like I thought it was an emergency. Like yeah. I have to apply this gauze. To, and he's like, oh no, no, you guys can go. He was like buying like a magazine or something. Wow. I was like, oh okay, dude, Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm sitting at the Borgata. It's weird. It's like you're in the casino, and there's like a glass hotel wall, so you could be behind the wall and see the casino. Mm-hmm. This is a very gross story. I apologize, but I have to I'm tell in. you Please. about it. Please. It's Friday Night Great. We have Friday Night yeah. Energy. Old woman comes by in her jazzy, right? Yeah. She, uh, I just hear her screaming. She goes, I'll walk or something. She goes to get up her colostomy bag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Eje- ejects. Out. Ejects. Shit everywhere. She falls into it, right? Yeah, I'm so sorry I tell you this story. I should have kept it. I myself. had it's no like idea com- this is what it was. Like a commercial be. for the casino, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Two people. One person walks by, slip, falls. Ooh. Now they're trying to like get this lady up. Another person walks by. I would say two or three people all slipped and fell. Now and they're all pooped up. Everyone's all pooped up. The woman's like, ah! everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let me tell you this. You expect to lose in a casino. Not that bad. <laughs> I don't think you expect to lose this bad. Ah, wow. They had to come. They had to put it back on her. And I was high out of my mind. Just w- sitting there watching it? Watching it. Did you get a whiff like, of it? That was, God bless. People would walk by and you'd see them be like, oh. Yeah, you'd see it hit them. <laughs> but I was behind the glass barrier. It was good to be in the cage yes. at that time. You know, like Jesus. a bear. Oh, it was one of the worst things I'd ever seen in my life. But uh, I had to share that for no reason. That's no, great. I love it. AC is AC might be the trashiest. You should do the podcast live from AC always. It's just every week go yeah. down there. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. also live just live from the top of the <laughs> Tropicana Casino and Hotel and CBS. Yeah, they stuff real legit street walking hookers who look like they're about to die. Yeah, it's bad. There, they walk yeah, yeah. to the car, they go fifty bucks blow job, and you're like. My favorite no. thing about Atlantic City was guys. You like bruises? Uh, <laughs> what was it called? The Revel or whatever yes. they tried to. The now new, it's uh, something. Else. Something else. Something yes. like they built it. It was going to be the biggest. Yep. This was going to bring Atlantic City back, baby. Yep. This Revel is like a three billion dollar project or something. That guy ran out of money, sold it to someone else. That guy ran out of money, type thing, and then they couldn't. Nobody was going to come in and buy it. Like they were like trying to. They yeah. were just hemorrhaging money, but the place was halfway done. Yeah. Like. You know, the, let's say the first like fucking fifty floors of it were already finished, yeah, and the other fifty weren't. So the homeless just invaded it, and what? now they're all staying in the, these suites and stuff forever. But there's like no path. It's like squatters, but they're squatting in like you know the, the presidential person. suite or whatever. Yeah. And I was, they were showing pictures of it. It was like the most insane looking thing. Imagine going through there with a camera. Oh, That's awesome. Nuts. Wild. Be like uh. ghost hunting for real. <laughs> Do you hear um, that? What? Did you hear that? No. <laughs> I thought you were really asking me. You're a stupid nah. actor. Uh, all right, what do you guys want to plug? What's just coming out? I don't know, probably today. <laughs> Tuesday? 20 minutes? Uh, this no, Tuesday? Tuesday? Friday, this Wednesday. Wednesday. Friday Night Energy on a Wednesday morning. So, this gang, Wednesday. if it's this Wednesday, currently right now we are in the United States of America in Texas. Yes. Nice. And we will be at uh, in Houston tonight. Tonight. And then the twenty third and the twenty through the twenty fifth, we're going to be at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival in Austin. Mm-hmm. And September twenty sixth, which is next uh, this Sunday, we're going to be in Dallas Fort Worth at Hyenas doing the Are You Garbage live show. Yeah, a little bit of stand up, a little bit of Are You Garbage questions. If you haven't seen the pod, check it out. It's called Are You Garbage. Greg's been on it twice. We sit down with comedians and ask them a series of questions to determine whether they're trash or not. Yeah, and most of them are real mm-hmm. bougies. Mm. Yeah, and then that Kevin Ryan comedy on all social media, Check and it's fully on Twitter and Foley Grams on 
Instagram. Yeah, if you guys haven't listened to the podcast, it's one of my favorite podcasts. You guys are the best. You're the sweetest guys. You're the best, buddy. It's so fun. Thank you, guys. You're the best. Um, I want to share a comment that I saw not too like the other sure. day uh, on your episode. It was mm-hmm. so funny. It was like this guy. The, the person hadn't heard known of you. I was like, this guy's great. I could listen to him just make up lies. Oh forever. yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> oh, you did see that? Okay, like, yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I do. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, that's so good. <laughs> well, great like, this guy just keeps lying. It's fantastic. <laughs> and then I forgot about it. The sob story was the funniest one because you were like, oh yeah, no, the guy started sobbing because he couldn't get a sob or whatever. what about truth and lies with greg stone where i tell the where, truth or lies yeah where it's like guess which one's true that's a fun i, I love i mean i was we used to do that as a segment on the rad dude cast oh yeah where i would tell a bunch of stories you had to figure out which one was was true love it they were all lies they're all gary but i was gonna say about that was uh i lost it it's gone totally gone oh sorry you said sob story sob I was lies. telling you about the lies. Oh, this is for the, for the people. Got something cooking for you guys. Cooking. Very exciting. Uh, Friday night, night, Greg, in the next few months, may be taking a, a, another rather than renovation, Ooh. which I'm very, very excited about. Cannot talk about it because my hopes have been high before, and I don't. I got to make sure it's confirmed. Sure. Uh, but possibly a uh, return, uh, possible return guest host to a real host. Which would be very exciting. Oh, uh, and uh, yeah, real. Might be bringing on a partner. Might be bringing in a partner. Might be bringing. Might be bringing in a partner who was an old partner. Ooh. Who isn't Brendan? But loved. Would love to have Brendan, but he moved. Uh. But a well, return. There may be a return. I mean, I think we know. Who we're talking yeah, about I mean, return. clearly it's very clear. Yeah, I mean, I don't but I can't <laughs> confirm. <laughs> Louis Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, but that also be saying tonight is Wednesday. I'm at the Comedy Cellar tonight, uh, running an hour. Uh, if, you, if you know, I don't know if there's tickets still available because I haven't. It's a week uh, before when we're recording this. Uh, but check the website, you know. So come out to that. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I mean, you should be uh, Greg F Stone on all things and subscribe to the Patreon. We've got great episodes on the Patreon this week. Uh, we just did a episode of Deal with It. I got this thing called. This would be fun for you guys to come do if you want to. Do. I got a show. I'll do anything show. with you, Greg. We're Absolutely. A show called Deal I'm with in. It, where I'm just very high and you guys got to deal with it. Oh, I'm in. Great. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Deal with it. Deal with it. I'm high. Right, deal with it. I always forget you're, you're close too, so that's nice. Anyway, uh, so thank you guys so much for coming. Thank uh, you. That's Thanks, man. It. You're the best uh, also, we Mike love you. V. Suarez. Follow his ass. Yeah, Mike. A. We love Mike. Mikey. Thank you, Mike, for all the work you do. Mike V. Suarez and all things. Mike, do you have anything you want to say? Uh, no, that's it. Oh, also, Macaroni Rascals. Oh, right. Which looks so funny. Macaroni Rascals. You guys are the Mike best. Vecchione. Yeah, so exciting to have two Italians in the same room <laughs> talking. New pod. New pod. Hot pod alert. Hot pod alert. Look out. Hot pod Give me the alert. helmet again. Let's go. <laughs> Make it official. Stay on target. Sir, we got a hot pod coming in. I can't shake it. <laughs> uh, that's it. Thank you, guys. See you later. Love Goodbye. Pick up your head. Pick up your body. Get on the bus. It's time to party. It's Gregory. It is a Saturday night. Gregory. Take your socks off and take your pants off. My man was too high, he created the show So that is why that you have Gregory Oh, Friday night, 